Subscribe, please. Hello, I'm back to another video for you guys. We have a developer discussion that just released today talking about a new quality of life as well as new features and a big new thing coming in, which is world level nine. That's going to be available to unlock. So let's get into it and see what's the good good in here or if that's just full cope. Anyway, let's have a look these. Uh, world level nine unlocked, regional specialty tracking function now available, blah, 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 blah. Let's have a look, sees. Dear Traveler, the newest developer discussion has arrived. Thank you for following us, starting from version 5.0, which is going to be in approximately a week or two, two weeks, I think. About 14 days. Is it 14 days? I think it's going to be on 27th, 28th, anyway. Uh, the blah, 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 blah. Starting from version 5.0, World Level 9 will be unlocked. The developers also bring new functions, including regional specialty tracking, long quest prompts, and more. Additionally, some optimization and iteration have been made for the Serenity pot and food system. Let's check them out together. So, first and foremost, Serenity pot, I, I kind of like the Serenity pot, but the amount of furniture you can actually put down in terms of decoration and stuff is so limited that I never was able to actually customize the place as much as I wanted to and so I just gave up. But if they actually increase the amount of load you can have on the map, I might go back to it and actually get into it a little bit, just have a little bit of a Sims experience uh, in there to make my perfect uh, environment. Anyway, uh, I'm just hoping. Uh, let's see. Dear Traveler, the newest developer's discussion has arrived. Thank you for following us, starting blah blah blah. That's what they said earlier. World level 9 unlocked and basic drop rate for certain opponents optimized. In the new version, travelers who have reached adventure rank 58 can now choose if they want to upgrade to world level 9. Uh, that's great. So, 58, it's pretty far into the game, obviously. I mean, level 9 is, it's, it's deep into the game, so that's not going to impact any new players, but you can know that you can look forward to that in the future if you recently joined the story of Genshin Impact. Uh, so yeah, good shit. When the world level is increased to 9, the levels of normal opponents, elite opponents, and bosses such as the Electro Hypostasis, Pyroregis Vine, Thunder Manifestation, Hydro Tulpa, etc. in the open world will increase by about 10, making the battles more challenging. I wonder if that, that doesn't seem to include the main bosses. Of course, the reward for defeating opponents in the open world will also be more generous. For example, defeating a world level 9 boss will guarantee at least 3 character level of material. Thank God! Thank God! The amount of time I've struggled. Like, one time I was farming two different bosses, and one of the bosses kept dropping me 3 materials, and the other one kept dropping me only 2. So it took me almost twice as much time to get like the amount I needed for one of the bosses. It was like so sad to witness. It's like, uh, yeah, we don't need that. Let give us a little bit more reward. And that's good stuff. I'm very happy about that. Uh, plus, starting from version 5.0, the basic drop rate for the following opponents will be optimized to increase the efficiency of obtaining corresponding materials. Spectre, thank God. The amount of time I've had to farm the Spectres and get shafted with absolutely nothing was insane. I was so upset because I had to be farming it for Kirara, I believe, and it was just a pain in my ass, dude. It was absolutely insane. So it's really cool to see that we're going to be getting more reward, or at least make sure that we're getting some more valuable reward. Because I felt like we're not getting the highest rarity as often as we should, so that's a good time. Uh, the top rate for different levels and types of wouldn't vary. Yeah, sure. Uh, the drop rate for materials also increase, along with the drop from specific monsters. Wow, obtaining enhancement material will be much more efficient. Lovely, good time. Original specialty tracking function increased total map pins limit. To help you find regional specialties more quickly after the version 5.0 update, you will be able to pinpoint the location range of regional specialties on the map. Click on the Go Collector source of regional specialty will mark the location range of regional specialties with multiple blue circles. Oh, that's awesome. At the same time, the number of specialties in the area that have not yet been collected will be displayed. So you go and you do go collect, and it shows you the areas in which you can find those resources with a blue circle, and then it tells you how many there are. So it doesn't show you exactly where they are, so there's still going to be some amount of values for the characters that have the passive talent that allows you to see exactly where they are on the minimap. But you will know where at least to go, and that is fantastic. 
yeah, you can open up a map that will show you everything, like an interactive map, like the Hoyo Labs uh, map, for example. Um, but it's nice for people that don't want to do that or people that don't want to memorize their uh, routes and stuff like that. This is great. It also tells you, like, you know right away if you finish collecting everything. It's good times. After collecting all the specialties in the current area, the blue circles will automatically recommend new location for the corresponding regional specialty. Great. Moreover, starting from version 5.0, the total map pins limit will be increased by 50. Uh, I think currently we're at 200, so we get 250. Um, that's fine. Um, it, yeah, it's fine. I don't, I don't see why there's a cap, to be honest. Um, I feel like just give us 500 or 1,000 or something. Uh, anyway, new update to the Crafting Bench Mystic Offering. This is fantastic. Starting with version 5.0, Eight new artifact set that can be exchanged will be added to Mystic Offering in the Crafting Bench. And here we are getting both the Deep Wood Memories, which is great, but surprisingly, we are also getting some of the most important uh, artifacts from um, Fontaine, which is the Marriage to Say Hunter and the Golden Troop. This is absolutely fantastic news. Now, moving forward... The Serenity Pot Load, oh my god! An increased furnishing inventory limit, there it is. After continuous performance optimization of the Serenity Pot Load by the developers, the load limit will be increased to 1.6 times the previous limit with the version 5.0 update, allowing for more furnishings to be placed in the Serenity Pot. Lovely! That's good news! In addition, the furnishing inventory limit will be expanded from 2000 to 2200. Okay, uh, sure. That's good. Uh, food usage and cooking system optimization. In the new version, special dishes will now have a usage prompt before use, covering multiple scenarios. Using a special dish in the inventory, adding special dishes to NRE, the menu, using special dishes to revive characters. Example is based on using special dish in the inventory. Okay, so now the game is going to be like, are you sure you want to use this specialty dish instead of just a normal one? So if you don't want to waste them, that's an option for you. What's more, when reviving characters' lower rank food items will be prioritized to avoid the accidental use of specialty dish. That's good. Next, the food interface in the inventory and the cooking system interface will have a new filter and search function to make them easier to use. I'm going to be honest, guys. I think the food system in Genshin is just not that useful because you can't really use it for anything else than just the overworld. And for that reason, I think not a lot of people actually use it. Um, so yeah, but I mean, it's nice to have some quality of life there. I'm not going to spit on it. But let's be real, this is not what most people want. I think most people still are wanting a um, loadout system for your character's artifacts. Um, this is what people want. This is nice to have, but I mean, yeah, it's better than nothing, as they say. But I, I, I'm still waiting for better. Let's be real. Uh, whatever. Never, moving on. Certain interface operation display optimization. The developers have optimized some commonly used interface to facilitate a smooth and convenient operation experience. I know this is such a small thing, but this is so good. Is that now when you're crafting your contents resin, you can see the amount you have because it's so annoying to sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm crafting five and like, you don't have enough. I'm like, okay, four, you don't, you have, you don't have enough space, three, you don't have enough space. And then I go, oh God. So you go one by one until you craft the maximum amount you can. Now it just shows you how many you have. And yeah, this is not game changing, but it's quality of life that makes just the process less annoying. Next, the weapon enhancement interface, the preview XXXP converted will be displaying the enhancement interface directly simplifying weapon enhancement operation. Uh, that's nice. It allows you to see uh, how much they're going to return to you. So if you want to use like different types of uh, resources, you can make sure to not overflow. I don't think it's a big deal, but now you know exactly what you're going to be getting. So that's cool. Forging interface. The forging operation will automatically select the maximum quantity you can currently forge without the need for manual adjustment. During repeated forging, the quantities to be produced can inner read those that have been forged and the interface will reset after exiting. exiting. That's great. So that way, if you say, I want to I craft 20 and you click on it again, it will automatically put it at 20. So you can just quickly go over and move on. Uh, personal profile display page optimization. The number of characters max friendship level, the number of stars obtained from floor 9 to 12, out of the spiral of the beasts. Um, so this will add those to, uh, your page right there. I mean, that's nice, but also who cares? We'll also set up a function for you to display the constellation level. You can choose whether to display this information publicly based on your needs. Yeah, okay, that's fine, whatever. 
the long quest prompt function. The developers notice that during the adventure, there are some quests with long duration at high difficulty. If you enter without warning, you may experience forced teleportation, interrupted processes, and restarts. Therefore, the developers have created the long quest prompt function so that you can plan your adventures accordingly. For quests with long story duration, the long quest prompt function will trigger a reminder to help you arrange your time reasonably. For quests with difficult combat scenarios, the long quest prompt function will provide recommendations for required elements, weapon types, etc. based on different combat scenarios, helping you to enter battle with a suitable party composition. That's good, so you don't get stuck into something annoying. In addition to the aforementioned optimization for version 5.0, to reduce the long-term game burden on you and optimize resource output starting from version 5.0, we plan to adjust the acceptance criteria for weekly reputation quests and make adjustments to the corresponding battle pass missions. When the reputation level of a certain region reaches the maximum, the weekly reputation quest for that region will no longer be available. We remove the weekly reputation quest from battle pass weekly missions, i.e. complete three requests and complete three bounties. So what I'm seeing from this is that I think a lot of people are upset that those missions are gone because they give you a little bit of Mora. Well, I think it's inconsequential. If you're strapped for Mora, this is still free resources. So hopefully they kind of make it so people can get money out of another place. But yeah, personally, I don't care. I'm fine with this. Uh, yeah, so anyway. Starting from version 5.0, the Battle Pass mission will be adjusted as follows. In Battle Pass, this BP period, a new quest series for accumulated enhancement of 5-star artifact will be added. Completing the quest series will grant you a total of 3600 Battle Pass XP, Primal Gems times 60, and Sanctifying Unction times 60 for per period. Okay, that's cool. Um, sure, that's nice. So we have that instead of the doing the, the bounties weekly. Uh, I'm okay with this trade. Um, the non-reputation experience reward for Natland weekly reputation quests will also be adjusted for more to sanctifying unction. In Battle Pass Daily Mission, the Battle Pass XP for completing claim daily commission reward four times will be increased from 150 to 200. And for the above adjustment, the developer will issue Mora times a million in one go. Please stay tuned for the official notice on distribution detail. Okay. This concludes developer's discussion. We'll let you in on a little secret. That's all, all, that is not all for the optimization in version 5.0. For more major optimization, please pay attention to the version 5.0 special program. And the special program is going to be on August 16th. So that is very, very exciting. I'm looking for more stuff. This gives me the hope that some of the biggest optimization changes are being saved for the live stream and that we're going to be some good stuff. I am fully coping hopium um, for changes to uh, maybe we'll finally get the artifact loadout. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, anyway, overall, some good stuff. New world level, that's great. Uh, better loot. Uh, this is nice for farming purposes. I do wish that the plants respawn in one day, like in Watering Waves. I think that's just better. Who like? Don't time get time gate us. I think that's useless at this point. Um, new artifact sets into the Mystic Offering is fantastic. CRT pod. I mean, while this is not the most important part of the game, I think this is nice for people that do enjoy it. So why not? This I think is pretty useless for the cooking stuff. Uh. Condensed resin, great quality of life. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. This is bleh. This is good. Uh, this is good too. Uh, overall, I think those are good quality of life changes. Overall, I'm pretty happy. Some nice QRL, some nice new features, and I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think is going to be announced in terms of new changes during the live stream. Down in the comments, like, subscribe. I'll take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time.